Hi there, I'm Amanda Castor with Material Girl Quilts, and today I'm here to share with you a new quilt pattern that I've called Boxed In. Now this is another beginner-friendly pattern, and it uses pre-cut two and a half inch strips, or jelly rolls, to complete the blocks. So the fabric um, I use for the quilt behind me is Halloween fabric, but I really think this quilt pattern would look great in any fabric collection. So what you'll need to make the quilt top is one package of two and a half inch pre-cut strips, some sashing fabric, and border fabric. Now before we get started on making the blocks, I want to point out that you will need a total of 38 of your 2.5 inch strips from your packet to make this quilt. So 25 of those strips you will cut and they will be used for the outside rings of your block and the center squares. And then 13 of those strips will be used for this middle ring for each of your blocks. So you want to make sure that you divide up your strips. Um, and one set of 25 and one set of 13 and make sure you divide the values and the colors and the prints up nicely so that once you mix these cut pieces up to put them back into the blocks it'll be nice and balanced like the quilt behind me. So let's get started. Once you have all of your strips sorted out I'm going to go ahead and show you how we're going to cut each strip. So for the strips that will be the outside and centers of your block you're going to need to cut, um, from each strip you'll need to cut two six and a half inch, two ten and a half inch, and one two and a half inch square. So we're going to leave it doubled up, as, which is usually how they come in your packet, and, and start cutting from there. So we will start by creating a straight edge and cutting off the selvage. Then we will cut um, two six and a half inch by two and a half inch rectangles. And then two ten and a half inch rectangles. And then one two and a half inch square. So you will repeat this for all 25 of the strips you selected to be your outside and center pieces. Now for the strips, it, oh and this is just leftover scrap and you can keep it and use it maybe to piece into the back or for another project. Now for the strips where, that will be the middle sections of your blocks, for each of those you'll need to cut four two and a half inch squares and four six and a half inch rectangles. So again, we will start by creating a straight edge, cutting off the selvage, and then we will cut six and a half inch rectangles. So since it's doubled up, there'll be two at a time. There's two. We'll need to cut two more. And then we'll need to do two and a half inch squares. So here's two. And four. And again, this is scrap that you can use um, for the backing or some other project. So now that all of your strips are cut, you're going to want to place them um, into sets like I've done. You, you can see here as an example. You'll separate them out so that, um, like this will be one block. So we have the outside, the middle, and the center. And you wanna just try to mix it up so that your prints and the values and colors of your fabrics um, are mixed up nicely before you piece your blocks. Now to start piecing the block, you'll take your center square and then the two, two and a half inch squares that will be the middle square on your block and you'll piece those um, together you'll you know one on each side here sewing your quarter of an inch seam you'll sew it like this and here is an example of what that will look like once it's pieced and when you once you piece that i pressed out towards um i just pressed in one direction and i just pressed out from the center square so after you have that round um, two and a half inch square sewn, you will take the same fabric for that middle square and you will take the two and a half inch by six and a half inch rectangles 
and sew them on either side like so. And we've done that on this block. So that's completed and again I just pressed out away from the center square. Now once this round is complete we will then move to the final the outside um, color. So what we're going to do for these is you'll take the two six and a half inch rectangles for your outside fabric and you will um, align them on two sides of your block and when I do this I prefer to align it where you'll, you'll see here where it's pieced this middle row here is is the three two and a half inch squares and then we have the six and a half inch strips and I think it's it's best to align them on the sides where it's pieced so that you don't have these um, being the same size here so you will line it up like this sew them to the outsides and here is an example of that so we've sewn the six and a half inch rectangles to the outside of that square and again pressed out away from the center square and we're now ready for the final pieces of our block so here's what you're, where you will attach the ten and a half inch rectangles to the outsides of your block like so and then once you've sewn those on and pressed them they will look like this here is your completed block it will finish um, once it's all pieced it will finish it will measure ten and a half inches square and again we pressed out away from the center block now you repeat this process to create a total of 25 blocks for your quilt once all of your blocks are complete you're then going to need to create your sashing you will cut a total of 20 two and a half inch by ten and a half inch rectangles and you will lay them out um, with your blocks so that you have five blocks per row for five rows and you will have sashing rectangles in between each block. You will then sew those rows together and they will then measure 58 and a half inches. So at that point you will need to piece together some sashing between to, to put between the rows and those sashing strips will measure 58 and a half inches by two and a half inches. So you will then sew your rows and your sashing strips together as shown. And once that is complete, you will then add your your first border, which is the same as your same fabric as your sashing strips, and then your final border, which you will cut at four and a half inches wide. And you will need to piece together two side borders that measure 62 and a half inches and then the top and bottom border will measure 70 and a half inches. If you make your own box and quilt I'd love to see it. Please tag me on social media at Material Girl Quilts and use the hashtag boxed in quilt. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please click the like button and subscribe and the bell to be notified when new tutorials go live. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.